folks, Matthew Weiss here, weiss-sound.com, and now Weiss Advice here on YouTube. This video is going to be about how I use the FG Bomber. FG Bomber is a transient designer by the Slate Digital Company. I use it pretty much every mix I do, almost. Uh, typically, I'm using it on mix bus, and that's what I'm going to demonstrate in this video, but I also use it on drum bus and on individual sources like bass, piano, uh, I mean, really anything that needs to have transient reshaping. So I'm going to demonstrate my mix bus process here. I've got the virtual mix rack, and I'm going to go down here for my FG Bomber. And let's just put this in bypass for a second so we can hear the record. Hide it. Every time we start a riot, brutality is never quiet. Cops harassing my people dying, so who's decided? They thought we prayed in Zion. Detroit, I'm a fucking lion. Crucify me like Jesus Christ. These All right, so... Before even getting into how I use this, let's get into what I am expecting and what I'm trying to get out of it. Basically, I have a mix that I feel is maybe about 75%, 85% done. We're getting into the end goal here. But now I want to bring it all together. So this is usually where I start doing my mix bus processing. And that might be, you know, finding little tweaks that kind of bring everything to life, getting a little bit more punch, getting a little bit more push and pull out of the rhythmic elements. And I think that this is a good spot to demonstrate how I can get both a little bit more punch and a little bit more push and pull. And I can do both of those things using the FG Bomber. So typically what I'll do is I'll go in and I will turn the intensity all the way up usually the setting that I'm using is either fat or tight, and that's just where it's focusing its detector circuit. It's gonna pull a little bit more low end and like the like the bass range to the deep low mids. If we're on fat, if it's on tight, it's gonna be a little bit more mid-range centric. So the stuff that's happening in like the lower mid-range to like the not brighter part of the upper mid-range. So somewhere in there is going to be what we want. Typically with hip hop stuff, I'm keeping it on fat. That's usually where we're going to get the low end of the snare, the hit of the bass, the, the power of the 808, all those good things we expect from hip hop records. So once the intensity is up, that's when I start messing with the drive knob and that's where all of the magic happens. Cops harassing my people dying, so who's decided? They thought we prayed in Zion. Detroit, I'm a fucking lion. Crucify me like Jesus Christ. These fuck niggas try to take my life. This mafia was integrated. These fuck... So if I turn the drive down so that the needle is coming in lower than where that center bomb is, we start getting more spike on the transient, which can be really good if we need more definition coming in on where the attack is. This this is not a bad way to approach a record that's going to get some heavy limiting because sometimes that extra bit of transient will help. I mean, it translates into maybe distortion to a certain level if we limit it very hard, but even in that distortion, we get a little bit more sense of the transient. Uh, but with that said, I don't think that that's where this record is going. Cops harassing my people dying, so who's decided? They thought we prayed in Zion. Detroit, I'm a fucking lion. Crucify me like Jesus Christ. These fuck niggas try to take... So if I have it turned way up so that we're in the red, that's when we start getting more of that, like, suction action, that kind of... Um, sustain heavy pumping and that can be really good for gluing things together or for pulling rhythm uh, sometimes I'll actually use multiple instances of bomber and I'll get a little bit of attack from one and I'll get a little bit of the pulling motion from the other in this case that's not really flattering this record either what I'm really looking for is a more balanced hit and that's probably going to be about in the center where the bomb is maybe leaning one way or another depending on what feels the best subjectively Cops harassing my people dying, so who's decided? They thought we prayed in Zion. Detroit, I'm a fucking lion. Crucify me like Jesus Christ. These fuck niggas try to take my life. This my Cops harassing my people dying, so who's decided? They thought we prayed in Zion. Detroit, I'm a fucking lion. Crucify me like Jesus Christ. Cops harassing my people dying, so who's decided? They thought we prayed in Zion. Detroit, I'm a fucking lion. Crucify me like Jesus Christ. These fuck niggas try to take my life. Yeah, I like this. I think this is giving me the right negotiation of like smack and also a little bit of that pulling motion. Because it's not like a super compressed record, there's really no compression on it at all, uh, it's ebbing and flowing around where that little center bomb icon is, and so it makes sense that I'm getting some punch from the transient, and then I'm immediately getting some sustain leading back in. So that creates this really nice push and pull effect. Now, I have the intensity up at 100%, so if it's making you a little seasick, that's pretty normal. Cops harassing my people dying, so who's decided? They thought we prayed in Zion. Detroit, I'm a fucking lion. Crucify me like Jesus Christ. These fuck niggas try to take my life. This mafia was. Cops harassing my people dying, so who's decided? They thought we prayed in Zion. Detroit, I'm a fucking lion. Crucify me like Jesus Christ
Niggas harassing my people dying, so who's decided? They thought we prayed in Zion. Detroit, I'm a fucking lion. Crucify me like Jesus. Cops harassing my people dying, so who's decided? They thought we prayed in Zion. Detroit, I'm a fucking lion. Crucify me like Jesus Christ. These fuck niggas try to take my so a little less. I'm typically on Mixbus. I I know I've seen some demos where people are doing like anywhere from like 20 to 35 percent. I'm typically around 20 percent, like even as low as 15 percent, because usually by the time I'm getting to the mix bus, everything is pretty much the way that I want it. I'm really just trying to get that like extra sauce going, you know, that that magic something else that just brings the mix right to life. Cops harassing my people dying, so who's decided? They thought we prayed in Zion. Detroit, I'm a fucking lion. Crucify me like Jesus Christ. These fuck niggas try In this particular case, I like it a little on the heavier side. I think around like 22% sounded about right. Anything less than that, I feel like I'm not really getting as much out of it as I could be. Uh, this is changing the level a little bit, so I'm going to adjust the output attenuation, maybe about half a dB to balance it out. All right, let's get a little before and after going. I'm something they never chose, way the cons and pros. My story forever told, niggas selling they so. Some won't get excited, no haters can try to hide it. Every time we start a riot, brutality is never quiet. Cops harassing my people dying, so who's decided? They thought we prayed in Zion. Detroit, I'm a fucking lion. Crucify me like. Nice. That that sounds. I'm really happy with that. <laughs> Let's add a little, little top end to this mix, just maybe about a dB and a half. I'm something they never chose, way the cons and pros. My story forever told, niggas selling they so. Some won't get excited, no haters can try to hide it. Every that sounds like we might need a little bit of like 4K too, just to really make it pop. Uh, but I mean like not even a DB, so. I'm something they never chose, way the cons and pros. My story forever told, niggas selling they so. Some won't get excited, no haters can try to hide it. Every time we start a riot, brutality is never... Nice. There we go. All right, guys. Don't forget, if you dig what I'm doing here on this channel, hit that like button. If you want to catch more of these videos, I need you to hit the subscribe with the bell notification. And remember, we are musicians. Sound is our instrument. All right, guys. Catch you next time.